Welcome to Character Select. My name is Dave. With me today is Matt as we are playing... Ace Combat Matt. 4. <laughs> no, incorrect. Ace Combat 04. The zero oh. is literally on the box. How dare you be so technicality correct? There's a reason for it. In the world of Strange Reel, this game takes place in 2004. Oh. When was so this, when was this my game it, made? 2001. <laughs> so it's no, it's close. Yeah, this is Shattered, Shattered Skies. Skies. This is probably the weakest of the post PS1 games. See, copyright 2001. But it's still a good game. Um, and it does have some story elements that do come up later. Uh, so, uh, in Ace Combat 7, in fact. So we're going to play it. Uh -huh. Just so everybody knows, I have not actually played this one. Interesting. The story is told in a very interesting way. I was just a child when the stars fell from the skies. But I remember how they built a cannon to destroy them. And in turn, how that cannon brought war upon us. So if everybody remembers Anime. when we played... <laughs> when we played Ace Combat 7, we kept saying that Yerusha was not the good guys? As a child, I only saw it as this game will explain why. <laughs> Until that final day of summer. One day while on my way to school, I looked up in the skies. A sound like distant thunder. Thunder! <laughs> oh, sorry, different one. Oh, it's a love heart in the sky, sky in the way. I could not tear my gaze away from them. I'd imagine seeing, like, jet fighters actually fighting in the sky would be amazingly terrifying. It, it would be... Oh. The fighters played the cannon on us in turn as they climbed swiftly into the sky. One plane fell out of the skies, spiraling and spewing orange flames to crash by the cape. Yeah. And there goes your the house. Same cape where my family lived. Yeah. <laughs> oh. See, that's the one now scary bit my memories of about past. an air battle is it's not the fact of shooting enemy aircraft down and enemy aircraft being shot down. Round to confirm the it's what happens after Benign you shoot craft. it down. Yeah. A large number Where does the wreckage go? Where does any ordnance that falls off go? Any Planes bits don't of just the disappear. Yeah. No, it's like um, somebody was saying about what happens the when aircraft the in the Second World War dropped tanks. Where did they go? And there was actually quite a few instances of people being in the houses and them coming through their roofs the the mm -hmm. and landing on people, killing them, and also. Yeah. So it's it, it's one of these things that always gets bypassed because oh no yeah we're, we're not going to say about that but the glory of war yeah yeah it it gets buried. 19 September 2004. Vision one. Four years after the planet fall of the Ulysses 1994 XF04 asteroids, Stonehenge, the erosion weapon of mass destruction, was originally built to shoot down asteroids. Upon discovering its potential as an anti-aircraft weapon, the erosions ruled the skies over the main. And remember, air superiority means to literally everything in modern combat. Failed. Yeah. As a result, strategic positions on the mainland were lost. This in turn forced ISAF to evacuate from the hey, east coast to North Pole. <laughs> uh, it means something different in this world. ISAF is uh, independent states allied forces. However, the erosions ah. control most parts of the mainland and they have forward deployed bombers to Wrigley Air Base, a former ISAF facility. This bomber force will attempt to deal a lethal blow to the ISAF at North Point from this strategic position. You see continent in well, uh, The Yuja that, continent. That gives so, you so much time to read it. <laughs> <laughs> Independent state allied forces. So... Yeruja controls all of Yuja. <laughs> yep. All of and it. There are actually a couple of names that you recognize. Uh, Stonehenge, Falabanti. Yep. North Point. Sensor Sen 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 comes up uh, a couple yep. of times in 7 as well. 
But basically, it's this is your typical back from the brink story. Literally, we've retreated back to this one place that's outside the range of Stonehenge. They're coming to bomb the shit out of it. Please, for the love of God, prevent them from doing that, or else we lose. <laughs> if if this was a real time strategy, this would be they're right outside our base. Panic! Build everything. But yeah, this is literally ISAF has been beaten completely off the continent. If this was Europe, they would be, we would be Britain, essentially. And oh, this is so the, we're going to win the, the war anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the Blitz, essentially. Yeah. Uh, there's there's planes to buy and stuff like that. We have no money, so it's fine. Uh, we start uh, with an F four E, like actually, which huh? is kind of weird. And it has unguided bombs, which are completely useless. But we, whatever. which are totally useless against the bombers. <laughs> But even back as far as 2001, they took pains to make this look right. I've got to say, for 2001, it's not the bad. Camera style, the camera styling hasn't changed much, it's just the graphics. Yep. The, the camera work and the actual animations and all haven't changed much. But, you know, it's just the graphics and the quality that's gone up. Yes. It's the same game, but it's... Yep. A different. Uh, boop. Hey, Sky Eye. Mobius One. Anybody that's played uh, Ace Combat 5's arcade mode will be very familiar with that name. Yep. So, so this game is a little different from other uh, Ace Combat, from later Ace Combat games. Uh, these are technically in meters, and speed is in kilometers an hour. But I'm not going to get a lock on until. Oh, I'm not going to get a lock on until. Okay, 800 oh, meters. Hold on. That's not good. Oh, I'm sorry. It is still in feet or miles or something. So I have to change that. My bad. My bad. Oh my god. The one thing that would annoy me is like the render distance, the fog distance seems yep. a little bit. You're just flying around in blue haze all the time. Yes, there's no clouds or anything like that. They didn't add that until 7. Alright, so the only thing that we have to do in this mission is to shoot down all of these planes. So naturally, we're going to ignore those and take on their freaking escorts. <laughs> also, I don't know if you noticed, but the reload speed is insanely fast. Yeah, it's just like, what's that? Fire. What's that? Fire. Fire. Fire, fire, fire. Keep an eye on those escort fighters. Mobius 1, currently over city airspace. Ba boom But yeah, this is this is where a lot of things that you know from previous Ace Combat games, planes always take two missiles to shoot down, so you always fire two. Yeah. Ba boom Too late for Alan 4. I'm pretty sure, isn't that another name that came up in... Uh, so, game. one of the interesting things in Ace Combat 7 is, um, like, it, there's an actual, like, um, official guide to the universe of Ace Combat, Strange Reel and all that stuff. Yerusha, when they started their war in Ace Combat 7, very specifically avoided North Point. Like, you can see it on the maps from, from the, the games that we played. They yeah. very clearly did not go to North Point. And the expanded universe specifically states that Mobius One is still there to f doing air defense. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like we don't want that shit. <laughs> Mobius One's over there. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> oh, love that. Oh, go on, have him. And done. First mission is super fast. That was. That was literally like less than three minutes. Yeah. Now, Sky Eye. I know a reference to Sky Eye yep, uh, Ace Combat 5 my, in Ace Combat 5 Squadron Leader when Awax Okanyeba appears that means Sky Eye in your language yep and Ace Combat Squadron Leader is still one of the games with a moment that I absolutely hate because it makes me fucking cry every single time yep I know exactly what moment you're talking about <laughs> yep <laughs> oh don't worry we'll get to that eventually yeah. Oh, funnily enough, I was talking to a friend of mine about it the other day, when he was on about uh, the DLC for Ace Combat 7. 
Hmm. And they were talking about one of the planes in there, or well, he was talking about um, sort of like memorable moments. And I said, yeah, one of my most memorable moments is a moment from Ace Combat Squadron Leader, which is a different game in the U.S. Oh, which Ace has Combat, a different name. Uh, yeah, Ace Combat Five: The Unsung the War. War seemed to unfold in the black ah, okay. I don't. But really yeah, and I said to him, "Right, is this scene?" <laughs> and then I, re- I then of course it all came back, hit me like a ton of bricks, and I thought, "Why? Waiting for this many years TV later, TV. is it making me cry again?" Because <laughs> <laughs> it sticks with you. We'll get there. Don't worry. Day of the Jackboot. Even yeah, the cat a, knows they're evil. There's no <laughs> animation at all. It's all just still still Tried images. They taught us at school. Our friendly local sheriff disappeared and was replaced by foreign MPs. In the beginning, some people secretly tuned into broadcasts from North Point on their parabolic antennas. Parabolic antennas. But this time passed. The Technical terms here. Came in. <laughs> Maybe the satellites were destroyed. Hmm, satellites being destroyed. We know about oh, that from Ace Combat 7. Computer networks were <laughs> shut down. Which is actually a key point of why it's skies Just unknown. Yep. Civilians. Though we lived in the 21st century, we were reduced to using crystal radios and horse-drawn carts. The realities of an occupation right there. Yep. I moved in with my uncle in town, who used to be a taxi driver. Out of gasoline and out of work, my uncle did nothing but to drown himself in drink. Sure. I earned my keep by playing. Good job looking after your freaking nephew there, buddy. The one thing I yeah. was good at. The bastard. I'd play for selling occupation soldiers in exchange for their charity and loose change. And use the money to support my uncle and myself. My uncle trash talked to bar. I haven't played this game in so long. Soldiers. But he never refused the money I brought home. As for myself, I had a crush on the barkeep's only daughter, who was a little older than me. Another day passed, yet still no sign of the yellow thirteen, yellow 13 mm-hmm. the skies above our town. Yellow 13 is also a famous plane. Next mission. Imminent threat. 5 October. So, like, three weeks later? Crazy. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, air missions actually do take a while to plan, especially the important Air ones. Wrigley Air Base is located in close proximity to our front lines, making it the proverbial knife at our throat. A large illusion bomber contingent was deployed to Wrigley. Their intentions are clear. So yeah, they were just trying to knock us, knock out North Point with a six bomber strike, just to be like, yeah, let's just do it and be done with it. That got fought yeah, back, so now they're like, okay, let's bring in all of the bombers. Yeah, but <laughs> let's let's just escalate things. So now it's a bombing mission. Uh, so let's take a look at aircraft. So the aircraft that you can buy are limited by time in addition to money. We could buy this gu- this uh, this plane, and in fact we should, because it actually has more missiles. And it's yeah, slightly the, better. I'm, yeah, more bombs? Is it? Yeah, more bombs. Yeah. All currently available aircraft purchased. And then you also can buy weapons for each plane separately. Um, this one has a napalm bomb. <laughs> <laughs> and this one has a rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. Yeah. So they only have one additional weapon each? Yes. However, Ooh. the best weapon in the game, bar none, is the QAAM. Yes. Quit. No, you don't understand, Matt. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Go on. Um, so you know how it's really, really hard to avoid a QAAM in any other Ace Combat game? Yep. In this game, it's literally impossible. <laughs> <laughs> if you fire it at an enemy, that enemy is dead. If you let one of these off the chain, something will die. Yep. Also, the map is based on pressure sensitivity, so... It's kind of weird. Oh, that, that's not annoying at all. Let's turn out the lights, shall we? Knock, knock. What? Hello. 
You're dead. <laughs> well, we just want to pass through some station. It's totally a drill. Oh, uh, White 5 taking off with Runway 5. They were probably parked that way. Yeah, and if they were flying an F5, then it's 555. Yeah. Five. <laughs> As opposed to a scramble order where it's just any available plane fight take off from any available runway. They are probably sitting waiting for a launch. Oh no! Uh, where am I going here? That way. Okay. Um, the other thing is, if you look at the map on the lower left... When there's an enemy on the map, the color indicates how many points they're worth. The closer That's to red, different. yeah, the closer to red they are, the more they're worth. Huh. Also, select is how you change weapons now, and it's very confusing. Yeah, that. This is the early days when people haven't worked out, you know, Pickle. ideal sort of layouts for keys. Destroyed. Yep, controls. Ooh, I see targets. Oh god, almost stalled. Oh god damn it, why is somebody texting me? Because <laughs> you're an important man, Matt. You're an important guy. Whoop, whoop. Hello? No! I've been bombed! You're in a plane. Whee! Indeed you have. Big old Immelman turn here. I do notice a pattern that the first mission of an Ace Combat game seems to be air to you've, air. Been pushed, you've been pushed back. You've been pushed back to this airfield. We're going to be bombed. Take off and destroy the bombers. Uh, the kinda. Next, and then the next mission, because it happens on Sand Island. It happens in Ace Combat 7. It happens in this one. Uh, it doesn't happen. No! Oop. Ace Com I did Ace not mean Combat to kill all of those things. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Let's just restart. Um, Ace, uh, Combat, Ace Combat Belkin War. The first mission you are hunting bombers. Right, except that the, uh, the difference is that in this game, it's war has already been declared. Um, in Ace Combat 5 and Ace Combat 7, um, it's... Uh, a surprise attack, and you didn't even know you were at war. No. So and in Ace Combat Belkin War, you were a mercenary pilot brought in to an ongoing war. Yep. Um, to fulfill basically limited numbers in traditional air forces. Yep. Which I don't know if that works as a. a it would a mercenary air force be allowed to exist? I'm not sure. No. Yeah. For some, for anybody that's not part of a, a standard military to have something as powerful as a jet fighter would be unacceptable to any kind of government. Unless you're in Strange Real, in which case, uh, everything's ruled by air power, yeah, we'll allow it. Okay. <laughs> Fuck that guy. That was an interesting, um... Maneuver? Angle. Yeah. <laughs> that was an interesting angle to fire at the target. Yep. You'll notice that I'm not going to get shot by a lot of missiles in this game. Just because the, they're so hard to evade that the game doesn't use that many against you. Oh god. <laughs> Hello! Goodbye! <laughs> knock knock, who's there? Missile. What? Doom. <laughs> Knock knock, who's there? Miss. Miss who? I don't miss. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that... I... Uh, I don't have words. I honestly don't have words for that. Boop. Boop, boop. Hey, do you hear a whistling sound? What? Boop. boop. Oh shit, boom. Uh, da -doom. And ba boom All done. Yeah. But yeah, the music is still really good, actually. Yeah. They always have a very good sound design music. Uh, oh, this music is before they got, they got really, like, huge recognition for sound design. 
Did I fire a missile at that? I did. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't actually sure. Oh, yeah, that, that's a wonderful thing for a pilot. Did I, did I fire a missile? Kaboom! <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> well, I didn't see it streaking in front of me, so I wasn't sure. I'm gonna take it off! I'm taking off! And you bounce from above. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking off, and I'm on fire, rolling down the runway. Fuck. I don't know if that's gonna hit. Sure did. Cool. <laughs> I'm telling you, missiles are really strong in this game, which actually kind of makes sense because missiles are really hard to evade normally. Normally, yeah. Oh, somebody killed it before what? I could. What a dick. Hang on, hang on a minute. An Ace Combat game where the bots do something? Yeah, I know, right? I think they only shoot down planes, though. Yes, I know, I am. I mean, yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, is your wingman literally just called Fred? Uh, there, there's no specific wingman. Uh, uh, these are all guys of the Mobius squadron, so they're important, but they're not they're that important. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fuck you. Thank you. You only got one. I am... I am disappointed. Oh, I'm out of bombs. Whatever will I do? Guess I better switch to missiles. Also, fun fact, see that white line at the bottom of the map? Yeah. You can cross that at any time to go back to base and resupply. And get repaired. Which, which is only available in certain missions in other games. Yes. In fact, in some missions, you have to do it because you don't have enough weapons. Oh, why? Why do we not have that in every mission in the modern ones? Good question. Good job, one. Thank you. I do try so hard. Well, I try so hard that I make my wingmen look completely useless. <laughs> <laughs> Our bombers are being decimated. Whatever shall we do? Die? <laughs> I don't have any more bombs. I'll have to improvise. So how also, did he die? Well, the heat-seeking missile hit his building. Heat-seeking? Yeah, locked onto his ego. <laughs> He's blowing a lot of hot air saying that this couldn't possibly happen. There we go. That's this, doesn't, this doesn't feel statistically possible. Kaboom. <laughs> All our bombers are destroyed. Do you, know, do you know what? One thing I still think... I'm. It's a tiny thing, but I'm glad they tried to explain it in Ace Combat 7. Mm -hmm. Is when you're able to hear enemy radio communications. Yes. And I I love Your how they tried to explain it in Ace Combat 7 is when Cal says, Oh, I've, I've, I've got a radio tied to my... Yeah, I've, I've got yeah. a radio tied it, um, strapped into my cockpit. Holy oh, crap! Yeah, that, that makes sense. how much money I got! <laughs> Flipping hell, 131,000! For, for reference, in the previous mission I got 54,000. <laughs> I'm in the money! Oh, rank Dad. S, that's why. Yeah, well I got rank S in the last one too. One night, oh. a spirited group made their way up the door, chased out the sullen army grunts, and commandeered the place. Even I knew who they were. Fire pilots. The patch on their sleeve was the mark of the proud Air Force. A loud-mouthed, middle-aged man went around, announcing each pilot's results for the day and his running kill record. For those who exceeded five kills, a thorough toasting and soaking followed. Because five kills makes you what? To call a pilot an yep. Ace once he shot down five planes. So I've shot down a lot more than that already. After completing the day's review, the same guy, the squadron agent, went on to announce. And now... For our leader's results, everyone turned around to look at the quiet man who sat alone, strumming a guitar. I found myself drawn to the music from his guitar. Our yellow 13 bagged three more today, <laughs> bringing his new tally up to 64 kills. <coughs> 64 kills? Fuck you now. Well, that's the With guy that shot smile, down the plane that blew up his parents. The guitar turned to me and asked me to accompany him on my harmonica. 
Remember, he had the yellow wingtips and 13 on the plane? I had finally found him. But by some fluke, it was my father's favorite song. The one he used to play at the end of each day. It's kind of messed up to find the guy that you want that killed your parents and be like, well, he's right there. What are you going to do now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit sort of heartrending, isn't it? Yep. It's not going to get better. Uh, did that not save? There we go. All right. Next time on Character Select, The Northern Eye. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And Matt. Dave. Oh, ISAF ain't gonna stop at two missions, I'll tell you that. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Mobius 1. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>